I'm obviously very disappointing performance tonight. Rather, we win or lose, we just, uh, um, you know, didn't get out to a great start. It was pretty sluggish. And when you play at home, you shouldn't play that way. Um, and then we just couldn't put the ball in the hole. Uh, we had layups, we had open looks, we had a lot of shots. But you can't shoot 23% in this league and win. Uh, for, for Courtney in uh, uh, April, just with the energy coming out of Sunday's game and the momentum, just how do you how do you put this into words? Kind of what what happened tonight, especially coming off that victory. Um, there's no excuse. We should have had a lot of energy and a lot of momentum coming into this game, especially being at home. So there's just no excuse for the lack of energy that we had. Uh, there's no excuses. Uh, we have to bring it every game. Like no excuses. Was it something early on that maybe if you had energy that zapped it out of you, something they did to you, or you guys, the ball just not going in the hole early enough for you guys? It always helps when you get off to a great start, and obviously getting out, they got out to an 8-0 start, and that can drain the energy from you, but you just have to fight through it and bring it that much more. Sharon, were the, the turnovers and the, the offensive rebounds that you guys gave up a little maddening there early on? You got those cleaned up late, but then it couldn't. Couldn't hit any shots. First half was ridiculous. I mean, offensive boards and every transition was a turnover, which ended up in a transition basket for them. And, I mean, that's just not how you play ball. Um, so the first half killed us. Second half, we beat them on the boards. We, we did all the things that we talked about at halftime, uh, but we couldn't buy a basket. So, you know, if you have good shots, I thought our shot selection for some of our players was poor. Um, I thought others had some good looks. We just didn't knock it down. This one's for Coach. Um, they have, coming into the game, they were the top rebounding defense in the Big Ten. Overall, what do you think of your team's ability to block out and uh, box out? I thought the second half we did a lot better. Um, obviously, you know, we only gave them 13 offensive boards, um, and they're a great offensive rebounding team. Um, so part of that is, you know, they shot well, and we rebounded well because we missed a lot. So, but at least we went to the offensive boards. But I thought overall, when it's 39 to 37, I mean, that was good. April, you can only speak for yourself, but when you got, you know, the guards got in the lane there, well, I mean, what were you seeing? There seemed to be a lot of blue there, but just kind of take us through the thought process of trying to get the ball inside there. Um, they had great rotation, good cover down, so it's hard for us to get into the post. Um, we work on it in practice to, if that's covered down, we have a jump out, jump out and uh, kick it baseline. So, I mean, we just didn't do the things that we do in practice. Sharon, any, any chance there's too much talk this week about the three games in five days rather than just the one game coming up? We haven't talked about it. You all have, but we haven't. In our in our confines, we don't talk about that at all. So, and they don't read the paper. Um, so, I, it's not about that at all. We we just uh, we should have been ready. We were ready, um, but it was like we're in mud. Uh, Courtney, a positive out of this game is you made two threes to come in a tie for a second on a career three-pointers made list with Brittany Rayburn. Can you talk about that? I know it probably doesn't mean much to you with the loss, but. Yeah, um, we'd rather got a win than to get that. Um, I would just rather won tonight. Just Courtney, as uh, one of the senior leaders, I guess, what's your job now to, to, to get, get this team back on track, especially with the quick turnaround? Um, starting tomorrow at practice, uh, just keeping everybody getting focused on IU. It's a quick turnaround and just holding everybody accountable. Uh, Sharon, if, if there is any good news out of this that you can't dwell on this, can you? I mean, you have to get, you have to quickly turn your focus to, to another game in, in about 48 hours. If you dwell on it, you're going to lose every game. You know, I'm not dwelling on it. Uh, you can't. It's early. Um, you know, if the kids would ever, you know, if they listened to Maggie Lucas after we beat her, uh, beat the team there, they just said, it's early in the season. I'd rather lose now than later. So, but you have to learn from it. Um, and it's a, and it's about playing together. Um, and we didn't listen to the game plan. I think some of our shots were really poor tonight. Coach, what, what kind of urgency do you carry with you now that you guys are one and three? I know there's a lot of time left, mm -hmm. but. Is there any extra sense of urgency starting That the comes on the players. I have always a sense of urgency, and that's my strength, um, and that's what bothers me about other people if they don't have a sense of urgency. So, um, 
you know, uh, we all have to be accountable for our, our own part in that. And if you can't have sense of urgency when you're one and three, and this is one of the toughest leagues, and if you want to even make the Big Ten tournament and not play four games or even make postseason, there's a lot at stake. It's, you can't get these games back.